shows Chris Farley as Charlie and Norm MacDonald as Frank crawling around the floor of a bar in the dark. Phil Hartman as Dennis and John Belushi as Mac enter the bar. Belushi turns on the light and says, What's up, bitches? Farley stops crawling around and says, Oh, hey, guys. Hartman, what are you two doing? Farley, play Nightcrawlers. McDonald continues to crawl around and bumps into a stool, holding the lifeless body of David Zunich as Ernie the Barfly, who falls to the ground. Hartman, watch what you're doing, Frank. You knocked Ernie off his chair. Belushi, I feel like Ernie has been on that chair for about 14 years now. McDonald inspects Zunich and says, Ernie's dead as a doornail. Belushi picks up Zunich's body, begins to carry it to the corner of the bar and says, I've done an ocular pat-down of the situation and as security for the bar, I'm going to move Ernie out of the way to avoid any danger. Hartman, Mac, what are you doing? You can't disrespect the dead like that. You're treating him like a co-ed you've trapped on a boat. Belushi drops the body and says, Holy shit, is this bad? Am I going to go to hell? What if they don't understand me down there? A very complex person. There's a soft interior you can get to if you push through the rough exterior provided by my ass cheeks. McDonald, there's only one way we can fix this disrespect. We have to give Ernie a proper funeral. Gilda Radner as D walks into the bar and says, What's up, bitches? I was able to extort Bill Ponderosa for some plane tickets and resort reservations in Africa. The gang's going on a safari. Belushi, Sweet D, why would we need to go on a safari when we bird watch every time you show up? Hartman, that's right, D, you stupid bitch. We already have a plan. We're going to give Ernie a proper funeral. Radner, Okay, well, does anyone want to do a B story with me where we go on a safari to Africa? Farley starts throwing salt at Radner and yells, Get out of here, snail! Go, snail! Go! Go! Cuts to a black screen with white text that says, The gang kills at a funeral. Cuts to Farley... Belushi, and Hartman in Dennis and Mac's apartment. Hartman, okay, so the first thing we need to do for this funeral is create a guest list. Belushi, it has to be real exclusive. Well, with COVID, because I won't be able to administer a visual threat assessment for COVID-like symptoms if there's too many people. Hartman, plus we're honoring Ernie, but we don't want to over-honor him. It would almost be like we were mocking him for his lack of popularity and friends if we invited too many people. Farley, well, how about we invite the waitress? Harvin starts typing into his phone and says, Okay, yeah, the waitress will need someone to help de serve everyone booze. Farley, and serve us up some milk steak. Belushi, okay, who else? Hartman, oh, I know, how about Dooley? Farley, Dooley! Dooley loves the party! Dooley! Dooley in the house! Dooley's in the house! Belushi, Dooley killed himself about two years back now. Hartman, speaking of people who need to kill themselves, we can throw a collar on Rickety Cricket and he can be the priest. Belushi, and for the heathens who don't believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we can have Artemis show up as a spiritual alternative and dance around and shit. Farley, and we can invite the McBoyle clan. They've always been pretty cool. Belushi, Charlie, the McBoyles are the least cool people we know. Hartman, that's true, but I think I saw Ernie making out with the sister before. Okay, anybody else? Belushi, well, uh, how about Pepe Sylvia? Farley, there is no Pepe Sylvia. The man does not exist, okay? So I decided, oh shit, buddy, I gotta dig a little deeper. There's no Pepe Sylvia. You gotta be kidding me. I got boxes full of Pepe. All right, so I start marching my way down to Carol in HR. I knock on her door and say, Carol! Carol! I got to talk to you about Pepe. And when I open the door, what do I find? There's not a single goddamn desk in that office. There is no Carol in HR, Mac. Belushi. Oh, I forgot.
forgot about Carol. We should invite her, too. Hartman. Okay, we're still going to need more guests. While Frank and Dee are getting the tombstone, Mac and I will find some invitees by getting back into the real estate game as you, honey, and Vic Vinegar. Charlie, why don't you round up the people who are interested in your kitten mittens infomercial? Barley. Well, I thought maybe I'd go to the courthouse and impress some potential guests with my knowledge of bird law. Belushi. Is kitten mittens too good for you, pal? You used to something smaller? You can't handle those mittens, huh? Hartman. Great, Mac. You got vinegar down. So you've demonstrated your value. Now engage physically. Belushi begins to make out with Farley and grope him. Hartman. Very good. Now nurture dependence. Belushi stops kissing Farley. Farley. Hey, man, why'd you stop? Belushi. I don't ever have to stop if you don't want to. I'll always be here to kiss you. Hartman. Now neglect emotionally. Farley. What are you waiting for? Why don't we kiss again? Belushi. I'm not going to kiss you again, Charlie. You smell like cheese. Farley. It's actually horse shit. Hartman. Great. Now inspire hope. Belushi grabs Farley and dips him down in a romantic pose. Farley. Oh, Mac. I always knew it. I had a feeling about you all along. Hartman. Now separate completely. Belushi drops Farley onto the ground. Hartman and Belushi turn to leave as Hartman says, Charlie, if you won't do the kitten's mittens angle, why don't you head to the bar and do some Charlie work to prep it for the funeral? Farley on the ground says, Guys, wait! The Jew turn around and Hartman says, What is it? Farley, I have cancer. Hartman, I'm not paying the waitress to date you again. Go get to work. Cuts to the bar, and it shows funeral guests entering inside. Shows Farley creating a hole in the floor with a jackhammer while yelling, Wild card, bitches! Shows Jan Hooks as Artemis dancing in the back of the bar to Coyote Ugly music as she chants, I'm insanely high on mescaline. Shows Hartman and McDonald sitting at the bar drinking. Hartman. Okay, Frank, people are starting to pile in. Did you get the tombstone? McDonald. Tombstone? What the hell are you talking about? Hartman. Frank, are you kidding me? You and Dee were supposed to get a tombstone for Ernie's funeral. McDonald. We were? Shit. Well, I ended up selling Dee to a Vietnamese sweatshop owner after a bad bet. Hartman. I don't care about D, but what are we going to do about a tombstone? McDonald, I'll fix it. McDonald turns to Hooks and says, Come with me, Broad. You got some painting to do. Hooks and McDonald exit to the back room of the bar. Cuts to a group of people sitting in chairs in the bar, facing a casket, with McDonald dressed in the green man suit, painted silver, crouching as a tombstone, on the other side of a giant hole in the floor. Shows Paul Walker as rickety cricket, dressed as a priest, motionless on the ground with a headshot wound. Hartman standing behind the podium says, Thank you, everybody. It's not every day you see a former priest shoot himself in the head at a funeral, but it's also not every day that you get the chance to honor a friend like... Hartman looks down at some notes and says, Ernie. Farley bursts into the bar in an all-yellow suit and white top hat and begins to sing, Dayman! Ah! Fight through of the night, man! Ah! Champion of the sun! Ah! You're a master of karate and friendship for everyone! Hartman. God damn it, Charlie! If you don't stop singing that song, I will come down on you like the hammer of Thor. The thunder of my vengeance will echo through these corridors like the gust of a thousand winds. The funeral guests begin to get uncomfortable and start to get up and leave. Hartman. No, wait, wait. My vengeance isn't really going to echo through these corridors like the gust of a thousand winds. I was just trying to keep them in line. It was the implication. McDonald stands up and yells, Sha Dynasty! McDonald then falls into the hole in the ground. 
shows Hartman, Belushi, Farley, McDonald, Radner, and Hooks in a large mental asylum room wearing white hospital gowns dancing around and screaming at each other. Shows Walker and Zunich dressed as doctors watching from a window outside the room. Walker, any progress with these psychos yet? Zunich, no, they still think they're running a bar in Philly. And dead from the earth, we're not alive. It's Saturday Not Alive, starring John Belushi, Chris Farley, Bill Hartman, Jen Hooks, Norm MacDonald, Gilda Radner, Donitra Vance, and many other special deceased contributors, musical guests, Georgia Gibbs, and your host, Paul Walker. Everybody, Paul Walker. Applause, applause, applause. Walker. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy to be here hosting. I was in many great shows and films, but I'm probably remembered best for my role as Brian O'Connor in the Fast and Furious franchise. But other than my daughter, what I am most proud of in my life was creating the nonprofit organization Reach Out Worldwide, which provides aid to the victims of natural disasters. Applause, applause, applause. Chris Farley comes out and says, it's early morning, the sun comes out. Last night was shaking and pretty loud. Walker. Oh, hey, Chris. Is that right? Pretty loud. Were you out with Belushi or something? Farley. My cat is purring. It scratches my skin. So what is wrong with another sin? Walker. I'm not judging. Farley. The bitch is hungry. She needs to tell. So give her inches and feed her well. Walker, excuse me? Farley, more days to come, new places to go. I've got to leave, it's time for a show. Walker, well, we're doing a show right now, Chris. Farley, here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Walker, oh, I get it. My nonprofit helps with natural disasters. Very funny. John Belushi, wearing sunglasses, drives out onto the stage in a black B&W and says, Hey, guys, want to go for a spin? Walker, as long as I'm the one driving. Belushi, well, gee, Paul, I don't want to make this weird or anything, but I don't know how comfortable I feel with you behind the wheel. Walker, with all due respect, there's no way I'm getting in a car driven by John Belushi. Belushi begins to chug whiskey from a bottle and says, Touche. Walker, folks, we have a... Scott Hall comes out of the back seat of the car and bashes the back of Walker's head with a chair, knocking him down. Belushi gets out of the car. Hall then grabs Farley, knees him in the stomach, puts Farley's head in between his knees, and then flips Farley over his head and gives Farley the razor's edge onto the roof of the car, which Farley falls through. Belushi and Hall then fist bump. Belushi takes off his white shirt and shows underneath that he has a snottle shirt on. The audience boos. Hall looks out at the audience and says, Hey, yo. You all can tell Stormy Normie, Billy Heart Attack Man, Gliz Radnerade, Janny Hooks with the Looks, and the rest of the Not Alive crew, that if they want a war, they got one. 